This is Rhyme and Reason Radio. On 101.1 to beat. Rock knowledge. Rams is Ja. Merge McVeigh. And uh, that right there, that was MOP Cold as Ice. Uh, one of my favorites before that we heard. Perhaps my favorite, the quintessential hip hop song. Uh, Nas with New York State of Mind before that company company flow. Uh, Eight Steps to Perfection. But yo, that Nas. Mm. Man, Nas is, uh, yeah, Nas just this past Friday. Uh, he he performed Illmatic with a full orchestra on PBS right. at the Kennedy Center, y'all. Yeah. On PBS, yeah, National Symphony Orchestra Damn, p- played see. Illmatic. I got it with Nas. That I so that was dope. That's that's huge, man. It's it's dope to see that album and just hip hop in general on that platform because you don't necessarily think hip hop when you think Kennedy Center. You know, you don't think hip hop and the orchestra is gonna work together and to, to put together what they did. Yeah, that's really special, man. So, um, really dope. If you haven't seen that, I'm sure it'll be on PBS's website. I'm sure they're gonna be running that back constantly. Watch it. It's Nas with an orchestra. If that doesn't sound dope to you, that sounds you probably shouldn't be listening to this show <laughs> because it should yeah. sound dope. If you but don't yo, like that? Turn us off right now. You know, we just playing. <laughs> some other Nas news, and this is kind of interesting. Um, okay. DJ Khaled. Posted a photo. It's Nas and Hove. Right. Ooh. The caption of said photo was a dream come true. Mm. Now, when I see a photo of Nas and Hove and a caption that says a dream come true, the only thing that can possibly come to mind for me is Nas Hove premiere. That is a dream come true. That is. Now, when you see that photo, mm-hmm. you had something different. Yeah, I, I, when, when I hear a dream come true, I didn't even pay attention to Khaled even in the picture, even though it was yeah. a flick. I, I automatically think a full body of work from two of the dopest MCs to ever grab a pen. That's what I was thinking. And yeah. that would be a dream come true because the contrast and styles and the way them dudes flip it, I mean, hip hop need that so bad right now. And then bro. think about what, like, think about what the like, and, and then to take that further, if say that's the thing. In my mind, I'm already thinking, all right, so I want to see Premiere. I want to see Pete Rock. Right. I want to see The Alchemist. Right. I want to see Just Blaze. Uh huh. I want to see Ninth Wonder. Right. <clears throat> As the producers of this album, just to no take ID. that first. Oh God. Right. Woo. Right. Listen, if that was to happen. Yes. Then I don't care what happens in hip hop after that. <laughs> That's real. Anybody can do whatever they want. And they can talk about whatever. Yeah. But oh my God, do we need that? Yeah. A Nas Jay Z album produced by some of the most solid. Yeah. Even Kanye. Producers. You, you gotta, gotta have Kanye. Gotta have Kanye. Kanye, Kanye Rick need that. He gotta have a single. Yeah. Because shit, throw for oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> throw Pharrell on there. Yeah, yeah. It it really needs to be. I was reading like Ray. I was reading on how they, you know, do the schemes with billboards and how they stacking the numbers on the streams yeah. and all of that. So what would be really dope if it was like a double album. Okay. You know what I mean? And give each producer a hot joint. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, you know, probably give some of these newer guys a shot but not none of I mean that wouldn't be that wouldn't be that wouldn't be past Hove because Hove did that when he gave Ninth Wonder the look on the Black Album that's what I'm saying that was Ninth's jump off point like it was boom man so I don't even um, know about you almost made me cry right now man I'm like I know I know Ja you you kind of felt the same way I did you were thinking Nas J and Preem yeah yeah it just it it struck me as uh, if he's talking about like the what, what did he? How did he say in the picture? Dream come true. Dream come true. Yeah, that's that's exactly. I mean, when you think of Nas yeah. and you think of Jay Z, who's the best person because, to produce because for we them? Haven't, DJ Premier. We have not gotten that yet. And like that Black Republican song, who was that produced by? I oh, thought yes. that was. I thought that was Primo. I don't like that song. I, didn't Primo uh, facilitate them coming back together though? Uh uh-uh, uh, I don't think so. I remember reading Maybe that he did. Double XL or something. Les Les produced Black Republicans, and it's not that I, I think Black Republicans is bad. It was just the first time Nas and Jay collaborated, and I was like, oh, it's not over a premiere beat. So I'm like, yeah, this is really dope, but it's yeah, not yeah, over yeah, a premiere beat. Yeah, I kind of felt that way, too. The, the rhymes were dope, but it just seems like it seemed like it should have been a more iconic producer on the situation and, to uh, round it out. Let's keep it a, a buck and all the way 100. Uh-oh. Nas got hove on both of them. Always though, just saying. Um, yeah, always. Um, <laughs> stay, he stay ether in that guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even go um, Dang. The, <laughs> the other piece of information, the context that we that we knew because we were talking about this before you got in here, um, that you don't know about okay. is 
So that photo was posted by Khaled. Right. And it was promptly deleted and taken down by Khaled. Right. So that to me, I'm like, even makes it even more crazy because it's like, oh, did he like let something out the bag that wasn't supposed to be like known about? Or like, is he fronting, trying to make <clears throat> us think that he's about to produce a single for well, that's another thing. That's, 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 uh, I'm like, does Khaled have an album coming out? Because if he does, it, I wouldn't put it past DJ Khaled to get Nas and Ho for his album. Right. And the only I mean, the only problem I have with that well, again dang, is be it's so not dis- Nas Hov and Premier. Premier, yeah, that'd be so <laughs> disappointing after everything we just been speculating. It's man. just a, it's just a, uh, a jam. I, mean, I love Khaled, but dang, that'd yeah. be a tremendous letdown if to that to have his voice with. on there with them. We uh, you know what? No. For, for, oh. You know what? For the most nah. part, though, on on Nas album done, like he kept his shit. Like, or, God, he's doing it. He kept his uh, his ad libs and whatnot to the beginning and the end, so he wasn't like in the middle of the song. But right. I feel you. Right, I feel you. See, I'm just talking freely. Yeah, man. yeah. You just. <laughs> I mean, okay. I love Cali, but he would have to. He would have to do "We the Best" in the very, very beginning, or just don't do it. And on the echo out, <laughs> best, best, best. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause man, yo, you gotta let. let like my nigga said, let that bitch. Please. Excuse me. Oh, my. oh and then uh, one last bit. Uh, there was the. There's another photo floating around. It's a dinner party. And tell me, you want to be at this dinner party? It's Nas, Mary, J, B, um, Pharrell, and uh, who else was there? Was somebody else there? Was somebody else there? That was the. Oh, Jesse Williams from uh, Grey's Anatomy. That was the dinner party. Wow. Like to be a fly on the wall in that room to hear what those people are discussing. Oh, Cali was there too. I must have said something wrong about Cali because they just cut me off alive. They said, we cannot continue this video. Oh, wow. They were like, nope. Well, Khaled slander will not be tolerated. This is the only place you can get Rhyme and Reason Radio now. Oh, man. Now, (laughs) Jesus. So, yo, we should probably get back up into the mix. Yeah, man. This is Rhyme and Reason Radio. 101.1 The Beat.